Hello YouTube, this is Coolbot Forever bringing you another video, this time on the Waka script and what it is, what it does, and then of course how to set it up if you're interested in using it. So the Waka script is a script inside your character configuration file, or at least that's how you enable it. And what it does is it allows a passive leecher, preferably a low-level character that's able to get to Hell Chaos, say a G-rushed or crushed character that needs to be leveled up. This is a great way to do it so that you don't have to do it manually. And so when you turn this profile on, what it's going to do is it's going to walk around chaos and follow a leader, but not too close, hopefully, it's not perfect, and level up off of the experience from chaos. I recommend using at least two bots to help you level this character up, although you can do it with a single bot. And what I would suggest from my testing is you don't want a character that goes to town often, and you want a character that kills stuff in chaos extremely fast. Those are recommendations, they're not rules, so just keep that in mind. Okay, so how do we set it up? The first thing we need to do is we need to create a character configuration file for our leecher. Of course, our leader would have already been done, so I'm assuming you've already done this and you already understand how to do this, and so I'm going to skip that part. If you don't know how to do any of this and you're new to this, please go back and check my other videos. I will leave a link in the description to the playlist so that you can check those out and get that done. So when we're in the character configuration file for our new leecher, go down to line 17 and change it to false. That's always the first step of anything, basically, that we do with our character configuration files. And just don't forget that one. That's a common mistake. I myself have even made that mistake, so don't forget. Skip down to line 128, and we're going to configure the leader's in-game character name. Now, I will make a notation here. I don't actually think this is completely necessary. But doing this will set this character up later as well, so it doesn't really hurt to do this part. That's why I'm going to show it. I don't know that it necessarily needs to be done. However, let's just go ahead and do it anyway. So config.leader, this is going to be your leader's in-game character name. So you're going to plug that in in between the two quotation marks. And then the quit list is if you want this character to quit with the other characters, when they leave the game. I usually have it set to my leader, and I like to do it that way. That way if the leader leaves, this character will leave with it. List mode, you can change it from character names to profile names if you wish, that's up to you. If you do use profile names, they have to be on the same computer. So keep that in mind. The quit list delay is to exit out of the game in between one and 10 seconds randomly. This helps prevent crashes mostly from what I've seen. If you want to use it, I personally use it. I think it's a good idea. It doesn't hurt anything to wait between 1 and 10 seconds to do that. So I'll leave that up to you whether you want to do it. 137 is the next line we need to edit. This is the actual Waka line. We're going to change this to true so that we're actually enabling the script to work. Line 247 is a suggestion. It's not something you have to do. And that is change your chicken settings to zero, meaning that you can die in-game. And what this will do is that instead of leaving the game, the Waka character will then wait a little bit, hit escape, go back into a portal, and try to leech some more. So for low-level characters, this is probably a good idea. And I do recommend doing this for those low-level characters because you can get killed. The script is not perfect. So something might get by one of your bots and just come over and smack you and instantly kill you. And this way, what that does is it allows you to not worry about whether or not that character is going to leave the game and not get any experience for that entire round of chaos. Okay, the last line and a very, very important line is line number 418. Line number 418 is the config public mode. So in the past, I've said that you can put a one here. I've recently changed my mind about this because when I have five or six bots running at once, I've noticed that unless I change it to accept only, for the leechers or the helpers and invite only number three for the leader it tends not to work right so use a two for a leecher or a helper or for waka you're going to want to put two excuse me you're going to want to put two and for your leader's character configuration file you're going to want to put a three now that just solves problems it prevents issues and from what i've seen it works flawlessly when you go ahead and do this once you're done with that you can hit file and save you're done with that portion Next up, we're going to go to d2botfollow.dbj, and this is going to be in your Colbot folder, d2bs, Colbot once again, and then finally, inside of that, you're going to see the d2botfollow.dbj. 
open this up with Notepad++ or whatever your program of choice is. And the first thing I'm going to recommend, especially on East, is go down to line number 16 and change this number. Your number will not be this high. I strongly suggest you change your number to a very high number because what this will do is it will wait a longer period of time if there's a wait in line issue of any kind. Okay, and then last but not least, we need to go down to line number 33. And the way that you do this is on the left side here in these quotation marks is your leader's profile name. And by profile, I mean d2bot.exe. So let me show you that for a moment. Here are my profile names. And my leader's profile name is subscribe. And my leecher's profile names are two, Colbot, and forever. This is the way I would suggest that you do it. And this is the format in which you want to do it. So if you want to add another follower, what you're going to do is a quotation mark, their name, a quotation mark, and then a comma, space, and then you do it again. So that's how you do that format so that it works properly. If you do it in this format, I've had zero problems and zero issues getting the characters to actually join in on the leader. And that's why I'm suggesting you do it in that specific manner. So this is the waka.js file. This is the actual script that we're going to be running so that we can run through chaos and get that experience. And there are a few settings that we can change in here that I think are important depending on how you have yours set up. So in order to find this, you want to go into your Colbot folder. You're going to find the libs folder, bots folder, and then finally inside the bots folder, there will be waka.js, which is JavaScript. So on line number 11, you can see here that I've changed mine to 15 minutes. The reason I'm doing this is just in case it takes a really long time, which my particular bot does, to get to chaos, it won't just automatically skip and go to the next script or just exit out completely. And then you can configure it to have a specific leader in the quotation marks if you want to. So if that's something you want to do, you could do that. This is going to be your leader's character name, your in-game character name in this particular slot here. Search for the overhead messages that people don't like to leave. And as you can see here, I've actually already edited mine out. So me.overhead, that means that that's something they would say over their head. You can change these out to just leave the quotation marks and have nothing in there, and then they will say absolutely nothing. So if you just do a search for each one and replace it, then you're good to go. When you're all done, make sure that you don't forget to hit File and Save. Now, when you start this up, we need to make sure that we remember to start our leader's profile and then start our leecher's profiles. So your leader is going to be running this entry point, d2botlead.dbj, and our leechers are going to be running d2botfollow.dbj. So don't forget that your leechers all need to be running the follow and your leader needs to be running the lead.
Alright guys, that's about it. Please like and subscribe as usual. Stay safe, and I'll see you in the next video. Not even death can save you from me.